Hey everyone, this is Lanson, who plays the Binding of Isaac. Uh, we did our first Isaac run last time we played, I believe. Maybe our first two. Let's look. Oh, that's right, because we beat him in the poop first. Um, okay, let's, uh, who do we not have much with? That I want to actually play. Let's do an Eve run. We don't have a whole lot going for her, so we'll, we'll go ahead and start a hard mode Eve run. We'll go up to Isaac on this. Uh, let's do it. Let's go in here and take some damage. Why not? It's early in the run. Let's play Risky. Um, yeah. Isaac. It's been really fun. I'm really enjoying the new save file, kind of redoing everything. It's been nice, kind of fresh eyes on the game. I am kind of missing some of the stuff you get, like, unlocked after a while. Like, um, Eve would have the razor blade unlocked normally. Um, and that's, that's a really handy item for her. Kind of lets her set her HP more. Are you wizard's garbage? I hate it. A lot. Um, this could be a secret room. Maybe I'll get that bomb too. I didn't either. Good job, me. Oh well. Had some bad bomb aim there. I thought it was a risk, but no. Watch out for his, uh... It's really hard to hit him. Are you a wizard? <laughs> okay, got him. Got another bomb there. Thank God Arya Wizard's done. I can actually shoot things again. Oh, man. Um, so the game seems like it has gotten her since we've been playing some. Got Acid Baby, which I don't know if we've had yet or not. Basically, he's going to spawn pills for us. I don't remember um, kind of the criteria for that. But, uh, yeah. It will give us some pills. Hopefully there's some good pills in the rotation this run. It can make a, a real big difference on your run overall. Sometimes positively, sometimes negatively. Um, but I'd say more often than not, they don't really have much of an impact at all over the course of a run. Um, hopefully we get some good ones off this though, because we will be getting a lot of pills with Acid Daddy picking them up really early here. Ah, uh, yeah. We, oh, taking a lot of damage on this floor. Not bad damage. That's alright. Let's see, what else? Is there anything else here for us? We don't really know where a secret room is. It could be anywhere. Our super secret room could be either one of these walls. So I'm not going to stress about it too much. I'm just going to save our one bomb. Might have better use for it in the future. And we'll try and beat uh, Jim and I here. The uh, Eve's low damage at the start of the game can be a little, little painful to deal with. 2.63 is... Uh, not very good. You kind of want to try and get into Horror Babylon state normally so you can kind of get through it faster. But this phase is actually a little... Ooh, almost got hit there. Actually a little easier to deal with than the, the second part when you kill the big part of Gemini first. I'm actually going to try and shoot the, the core guy and get him dead before the other one. There's a little bit of risk involved in that, but uh, I think if, if otherwise it's going to be just a little pain to deal with. With my low damage, I'll probably end up taking a damage or two. Oh, that's great. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. And we're done. Got a little more HP. Not what we wanted, but we'll take it. We got a pretty fly pill. That's a good one, at least. We'll move on to the second floor. Yeah, we are trying to beat Isaac, I think, I think it's six times to um, unlock the chest access. Uh, and then once we've done that, well, we unlocked a Polaroid with that, which let's get to the chest. Um, once we've done that, I think we've unlocked, unlocked everything in the game, I believe. I think this is our secret room. It was not. I was, I was uh, made a liar. Um, yeah, I think we've unlocked all the, uh, all the levels and the floors once we've done that. Had to beat Isaac six, I think, four more times. We've beaten him, what, three times so far? Twice so far, I mean. Once with the uh, blue baby, once with Isaac. Once with Isaac. So we need to get it with a few more characters here. Ooh, watch out for... Uh... This guy's a... Ooh. <laughs> Those super fast champions are a pain. I get hit by them a lot. They can uh, do some serious damage. This is aggravating. 
Okay. Um, I would love a damage upgrade. If for no other reason than my own personal sanity, um, dealing with 2.63 damage for a long time is going to be extremely frustrating. Explosive diarrhea is not very good. We did get a... It's not a big damage upgrade, but it is a damage upgrade from that. We got another HP up. So we can trade away tons of HP to uh, Devil Deals. What else did we get? Infested? That's fine. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's got a minor positive effect on it. We'll uh, continue through here. I used to think Stigmata was really good. Because, you know, it's, it's damage and HP. What more could you ask for? Um, and it turned your tears red, so it's got to be good damage. But then, you know, once I kind of saw the, the stats behind it, it's only 0.44 damage, at least for this character. Um, yeah, kind of don't like it nearly as much now. I mean, it's still better than, like, a regular HP upgrade. It doesn't have anything else with it. But, uh, not so much in love with it like I used to be. That's okay. I think it's pretty much just a slightly worse version of meat. We got two of these, so one of these is a library. Well, here's our shop. The other one's got to be the library. We definitely want to get in there. There's any number of books that could actually be really helpful to our run. Even if we don't find one of those, then we're going to get more towards bookworm. Forgot this infested pill. Do we have two infested pills? We must have. Um, so we got Telepathy for Dummies, which we don't really care about, and we got Book of Revelations. So this might be the run where we get, um, the Super Meat Boy achievement, or the Ball of Bandit achievement, whichever one that one's called. Um, because every time you use Book of Revelations, it, um, makes a, uh, horseman spawn. And you kill four, and they always drop a cube of meat or a ball of bandages. Uh, and once you collect four of either one of those, you get the kind of fully upgraded um, Meat Boy. That is a, a thing we'll want to unlock at some point. So that's nice. And it's a, it's a pretty good item in its own right. It gives a higher Devil Deal chance. And it also gives you a Spirit Heart every six rooms, or every time you use it, rather. So that's very handy. Very happy we uh, used our key to get to it. Should more or less guarantee us a win. There's our ball of bandages. Just got some red chests in here. Chest full of spiders. Chest full of spiders. Got x a Pretty bad. Pretty bad pill. I mean, it's not terrible or anything. We know we got it. It can't hurt us now. Um, let's go back and go into this curse room. We can't access that. Kind of... Oh, well, maybe spirit hearts? Yeah. Cool. Um... I could go down there and get that battery charge to give us something our spirit heart, but I'm not worried about it. We're going to be rocking max HP here pretty soon because of the Book of Revelations. So I'm not going to sweat the small stuff too much. Uh, well, I don't like this room. The little guy's really fast, but he's dead. There, he was our biggest concern. Another x -Lax pill. We don't want that. We don't want to fight those boom flies. Um, oof. Our consumables are really uh, hurting here. We've got a penny. We probably should be... Actually, we really should be using Ball of Bandages to do a lot of our damage. Um, just because we've got lower than starting damage. Well, not for Eve, but for your average character. Lower than starting damage. And we got a way to turn 8 HP. So, really, we should be using it. It's going to speed our run up and make me not go insane. So let's try and do that. I'll run right into it. There's a problem we're going to run into sometimes. Is, uh, we're going to walk into enemies. I'm probably going to try and not use it on champions because we can die pretty quick that way. This is taking forever. It's just proving how uh, even when you've been damaged, the uh, the bird's not very good. Um, got a speed down pill. Not great, not terrible. We need consumables, so we're going to open this chest. One of the few times I'll take the uh, trade of fighting this room. Ow. Okay, we should stop taking damage. Oh, God. I take more damage. That's okay. I just, you know, that's what Book of Revelations is here for. Got a 
third pretty fly. So, I mean, that's like the only positive, the only like, really positive pill we've had this entire run. And uh, it will no longer be useful because we've already got... Uh, actually, that one wasn't even useful. Because um, we already had three orbitals. But anyway... Oh, ran right into it. God damn it. I was just about to say, we shouldn't hit those guys. We shouldn't be hitting these guys with our um, orbital. Because they can uh, spit creep at us and make us take damage. Um, we weren't even trying that time though, it's just kind of... We got trapped in a corner, which I shouldn't have gotten myself trapped in a corner, but... Oh well, c'est la vie. These uh, worms here are taking forever to kill. Whenever we can't use our bottle bandage for whatever reason, I'm always extremely sad because things take forever. Is he a spawner? Yes. Couldn't tell because of the uh, champion colors if he was um, a spawner or one of the other. Oh god. This is terrible. <laughs> okay, we come from this side. Maybe we push a bomb into him. God damn it. I hate this guy so much. We're going to lose our devil deal chance very possibly here. Because, um... This room, and this one enemy in particular, is a huge pain in the ass. Just die. Just die. Sweet. Don't respawn. No, don't get back up. Son of a bitch. Okay, he's trapped. Awesome, we did it. That was, uh, nightmarish. Um, I feel like I just fought a tough boss. It's okay. I'm gonna make it through. We'll be just fine here. Hopefully, this is gonna be a damage upgrade and all of our prayers will be solved. Uh, it is large zit creep shots. You know what? I'm not entirely sure what this does. I'm guessing every time you hit an enemy, it spawns a little bit of creep under them and they take some damage. Be my guess. That does not appear to be what it does though. Um, I've gotten this before. Never quite figured out what it did. Maybe it's just every now and again it does that. Die, you motherfucker! We want to avoid taking damage until we can get you know. I mean, it'd be best to avoid taking damage at all, but we really want to avoid taking damage until we can, um, get a, another charge on our spacebar item so we can keep our devil deal chance. I mean, it's only a 38% chance, so it's not great, but we do want to keep it anyway. Oh, the door's open because the game took pity on me and said you're taking too long. Oh, this room. Mm, this room. Okay, so it looks like that one slowed the enemy. I think that's due to the, the zit. God damn it. Why well, wrote my double deal? <sighs> Should have just taken the uh, battery charge. I was trying to be a little more economical, but uh. Oh well. Literally blew up in my face. Hopefully, one day we'll, like, do real damage. That'd be cool. I'm. I'm choosing to believe it's just a little bit of a, a little speed bump, and that we're gonna be fine, and we'll make it through. I'm going to donate some money. Um, pull this guy up. Maybe get a better devil. I mean, you know, we got, it's only a 15% chance that we got something. Got to do something to try and make this run work. We need some some good devil deals. We got, we'll get on our last one. Just uh, there's three red chests, right? Yeah, that's not... It had two troll bombs and some spiders, I think. That wasn't exactly... The, uh, the coup we needed to... to take over this run... But maybe. we still got time. It's early yet. Um, not, like, from a time standpoint, this run's taking forever. But, um, in the actual run, I might be doing this run for a few days at this rate. That's okay. We're gonna make it through. Oh, god damn it. All right. Pop through stuff here. So, might as well talk about some other stuff while I'm uh, doing absolutely nothing on this run. Um, I've been having the most absurd car troubles as of late. The past six months have been crazy. I've driven six different cars in those six months. Um, first off, my old reliable car that I had for like 10 years. It was old when I got it, but uh, 
it finally gave out. The transmission died, and I figured it probably wasn't worth it to replace, considering it had like 270,000 miles on it. Um, so it's like, yeah, okay, fine. D it, you did me well. I wanted to make it to 300,000, but it obviously wasn't destined for this world. So uh, I did not... I should use it here. Um, I... So it did not quite make it to 300,000. That was fine. It was, it was time. The car gave me many, many valued years of service. At least we can dodge around them in this room so we can just hit the spawners. Oh, that's nice. Really wish to die. Thank you. Um, so that one died. I got a uh, 2010 Honda Civic with like 70,000 miles. It's the newest car I ever owned. I was very happy. Got a pretty good deal on it. I uh, had that one for about three months. Then I got rear-ended in a hit and run. Um, so that car was total. Got it replaced by the insurance company. Um, in the meantime, I drove around this terrible little Kia that I hated. But that's fine. I didn't have it long. It's just a rental car. Can't really complain too much. After that, I got a Honda Accord. Actually, from the same guy. Um, deal wasn't quite as good this time, unfortunately. But uh, I kind of you know, just needed the car at that point. Um, and... Oof, watch out there. Um... We so got that one after the hit and run. Um, everything was hunky dory. We went to uh, a little vacation in Denver for about a week. Um, and while I was there, they had the worst hailstorm that they had in years. And uh, the rental car that I had while I was down there had about easily a hundred dents in it. Uh, I actually ended up talking to my insurance company's disaster um, section portion of the company. Because I guess it had been that bad for the hailstorm in general. So that was interesting. That was a unique experience. Um, got back. Uh, then... I... After... Let's see, what, what happened to that? Oh, and then a couple weeks ago I hit that alligator in the road, which I, I have mentioned before on one of my runs. So yeah, and then I had to get a rental car after that. So it's been... Interesting. Um, very... Uh, Varied car situations for sure. Um, we got our second ball, our bandage ball there. As you can see, it um, kind of upgraded and now it shoots, which is pretty cool. I'm going to hold on to this two of diamonds until we can get some more money. We're back at full XP. Um, the run's getting slowly better. Certainly no, uh, no massive upgrades yet, but we're getting there. Very happy I found that um, super secret room. We're going to move on to the next floor here. What do we got? Caves 2, I think? Yeah. Oh, is that is another flooded caves? God damn it. There's more spawner enemies in the flooded version of the floor. Uh, and those are the ones that are the biggest issue for us right now. Just because we have so little damage that destroying things before they can spawn more enemies is a real concern. Um, don't even mind taking that damage. I actually am very happy there's an arcade here. I can um, get inside and play... Oh, God damn it. Well, I was hoping to play these, or to play a blood bank down to low health so I could activate Horror Babylon, get a damage upgrade, get some money, then double it with two of diamonds. It would have been awesome. But uh, there wasn't any of those, so instead I just pretty much wasted a bomb. Oh well. Yeah, um, I'm really tired of dealing with insurance and insurance companies. It's been, and I feel like that's been my part-time job for the past six months. Uh, it's real old. I finally settled my last claim yesterday. After, I think, April 1st was the hit and run, was the first of the, the troubles. And I'd finally settled my claims, what, over four months later? It's absolutely insane. Um, but it's done now. I can get back to, to a more normal life, hopefully. Um, yeah. I'm happy I'm done with that. I did physical therapy um, during that time. Had some back-related issues dealing from the uh, from the wreck. Um, and uh, the physical therapy was actually really good. I really uh, had a good time with it, I guess as much as you can with something like that. Um, they were very, very professional, very knowledgeable about everything. Uh, that seems to be the general consensus of everyone I've talked to about uh, that's ever had any kind of physical therapy done. They, they seem like it's... 
easily the best, like, taken care of than anyone is in the uh, healthcare field here. Which, uh, it seems like it should always be, like, a pleasant experience like that, but I guess due to lots of reasons, it's not oftentimes. We're gonna be careful here. I think I do want to find either my shop or my second secret room. Yeah, we do have two different invested pills. Weird. Um, I do want to find my shop or my second secret room before the boss fight because I want to get myself an even higher chance of getting a um, devil deal. Got an eternal heart there. We're going to wait on that in case we find a blood bank or something similar on this floor. I don't think our chances of it are pretty are high at all. If they were going to be anywhere, it probably would have been in that arcade. But uh, we're going to look for it anyway. Yeah, very, very happy to be done and over with that entire situation. It's been extremely frustrating. Um, the hit and run in the first place was a pain to figure out. Uh, I only had liability on my car, which if you're familiar, if you're not familiar with uh, how U.S. car insurance works, um, basically, there's different kind of coverage you can pay for, and the cheapest one that you... And it's the only one you have to have to drive a car in the U.S. Um, but the cheapest one is liability only, and that's kind of what I had. Um, which is just... It only pays out if you hit someone else and you were at fault. So because I was hitting a hit and run, I wasn't going to get any reimbursement for it, which really would have sucked to be out of my new car... Um, but I was thankfully to the uh, to the credit of a very nice Papa John's driver who saw the thing. Um, I was able to track down his insurance information or his uh, license plate number because she called the uh, 911 with that information. I was able to get that and then get in touch with his insurance company and get it taken care of, which was great. I would have been really screwed otherwise. Um, so. That's, that was a really uh, good Samaritan thing of her to do. Um, real quick, I picked up that 1-Up. Uh, it looks like a 1-Up mushroom from Mario. It's obviously a reference to that. And it does exactly what you think it would do. If you die, it brings you back to life. Um, I can't remember the exact... There's a few items that do something similar. I can't remember the exact rules based on this one. I don't know if you come back to life with like 1 HP on the uh, previous room or what. But uh, it does resurrect you. Which is really nice. I doubt we'll use it on this run because of Book of Revelations, but, uh, it'd be great. But yeah, even that was like a month-long process of finding out his license plate number. Um, the problem with that situation was that when she called in, she didn't write it down, and she didn't, she only told it to the first person she talked to, who also didn't write it down. Um... So no one actually knew or had the information of what his license plate number was, despite having someone call in. So that was a little perturbing. Um, but I eventually tracked down the 911 operator and was able to find that recording and listen to it. And uh, try and report it to my police, who unfortunately did not take my call, which was again very frustrating. Um, I've got a greed fight here. really wanted to maybe make use of our shop, but uh, I guess instead we'll just kill this guy get some more money from it which would be nice or a steam sale which would also be nice either way we should this two of diamonds very glad we held on to it we should be able to make it pop yeah we got 25 cents we can turn into 50 cents later or more um yeah pills have not really been and we got two pretty flies but uh seeing as how we have more or less infinite hp on this run um, pretty flies probably wouldn't have made much of a difference in the success or failure of this run, so pretty not important. Um, but after I found his license plate and everything, didn't got it not reported, but tried to. It was a nightmare. Um, just dealing with the actual insurance paid out pretty quick in the car. That wasn't so much of a problem. The problem was bodily injury. The first person I talked to. Wouldn't return my call for like a month. I talked to him a couple times, and it was like a month later, and he just, I couldn't get in touch with him again. I eventually uh, called enough and complained enough where I was put in touch with um, another one. They got me another bodily injury adjuster, because apparently he had some kind of family emergency from what they said. And uh, 
yeah, I guess I never, none of his guy, his claimants got transferred. But uh, I finally got another one. And she, the second one, I couldn't get in touch with for two weeks after I had her. I finally got in touch with her and she said she had been on a two week vacation, which was really great to get transferred to a new agent who couldn't talk to me. Um, I talked to her like twice and then I called her back and there was another week or two where she couldn't talk to me again and I finally talked to her again and she was on a two week vacation. I think she was lying. Who takes that many vacations in a row? Okay, we got... We don't have any bombs. Oh, no. We got Synth Oil, which is great. It's a damage upgrade. We absolutely needed it. Very happy to have it. Um, here's an item I've never had before, actually. So we're going to take that. Angelic Prism. And So I think how this works, I've seen it, is if you shoot shots through it, yeah, it breaks them up into a rainbow effect, which is super cool. So what we really want to do is blow this up. But we don't have any bombs, so we're not going to blow it up, which is super unfortunate. Is that our first angel deal? It might be. Oh, the Harlequin baby shots also make it split. That's cool. All right. I like I like this item. Miter's a little more common. If we wanted to skip on that one, um, it can appear in uh, item rooms as well. We'll take blood bag. Does it do any contact damage? It does not. That's fine. I didn't expect it to. I just wanted to see. Um, great. What have we got here? Got a, pill, a bad trip pill. Great. We've just had fantastic pills this run. Guess I want to take our two of diamonds. There's a hermit card. Um, don't really care about that one. Makes you larger. We don't care about that. We'll keep our two of diamonds. We can't get in either of those chests unless we get flight or a way to blow up um, the rocks in front of them. So maybe if we get that, we'll come back. Otherwise, we won't. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just happy the entire insurance situation is over. I finally got settled yesterday. It's It's been a pain. And I've had to pay cash for all the medical treatments from that because uh, they don't pay out until you're done getting treated, which seems like a really terrible idea. You know, what if you can't afford the treatment out of your own pocket? Like, what happens then? Um, thankfully, I could. And that was $3,000 I really wish I would have had in pocket instead. Not exactly a rich man. But, uh, oh well. It is what it is. It's done, and I'm excited it's done. It's a huge weight off my shoulders. I'm in pretty good spirits because of it. Another speed down pill. It's not going to help my spirit, but that's fine. So I guess I want to kind of circle around with it. It's a really cool item. I like this item. Um, stylistically, it's, it's kind of like a more fun Epiphoria, which is cool. Um, I don't really care for Epiphoria. I feel like it's too hard to make it work. This one, a little, it's a little neater though. It's a little more dynamic. Um, yeah, I like it. Another pretty fly, not very good. I mean, it doesn't do anything for us. Get through here. Some more bombs out of it. Good, we need the bombs. So we're definitely going to go back to our, um, trap room and open it up with these. There are certain situations where we just won't be able to get any use out of the prism, unfortunately. It's so cool. I like it a lot. Oh, I bet this with like triple shot or quad shots, really great. Full card will teleport us. Don't really care right now. Um, let's keep going this way for the moment. We will go back to our boss trap room, but uh, yeah. Oh, we probably shouldn't have done this. I didn't really think about it because it's gonna take us two keys to get this open. Wasn't really worth it. That's okay. Oh, walk right into the one champion enemy. It's fine. We got. More or less infinite HP, who cares? As long as we don't start throwing it away at a very quick pace. Got the D6. That's a tough one. Um, cause the D6 is good. And I'm tempted to replace... You know what, we're not going to replace Book of Revelations for now. Because um, we want to go ahead and get our bottle of bandages done. And plus we're going to be using the D6 a lot pretty soon here with Isaac runs. 
So I don't want to uh, go too crazy with it yet. Our shop's super greed. I just want to use my two of diamonds. Just let me have my two of diamonds. Oh well, that's fine. I have a blast through super greed. It's not that bad. Um, I'm loving this prism. It's really cool. Um, let's see what, uh, it's making me see the game in a whole new light. I do apologize for that pun. Okay. Yeah, we also want to keep Book of Revelation so we can finish up our ball of bandages on this run. It's an opportune time for it. We might as well go ahead and do it. Um, our damage a little suffers a little bit, I gotta say, when we aren't shooting through the prism. We haven't been able to have Horde Babylon active this entire run. And with Angel deals, um, we're not likely to. Granted, we've only got a 50 shot, 50% 50 shot of getting uh, another Angel deal, so we could keep getting more Devil deals. And once you take one Devil deal, you're uh, locked into the Devil deals for the rest of the run. Oh, so the prism also shoots different uh, status effects, I believe. That one got charmed. Or that's, that's, never mind, that's a ball of bandages that did that. That's right. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Super secret room? No. No. Oh. Shucks. Let's take out these, uh, these husks. Shouldn't be too bad. Be careful about our dodging, because there is a lot on the screen. Got a lot of space to dodge around in, but there is a lot of on the screen, so we can't get too careless and just run into an enemy. I, mean, I guess we could. It's not that bad. We got lots of HP. We're going to keep this. Might as well run into one, actually, to get our uh, get our bird here active. We should probably do that in a room with a lot of enemies. It might take us a while to beat. We're going to get the HP back, and he's going to make us get, help us get through it faster. Got another HP, a devil deal, what we get? We will take both of these, because we can. Multidimensional baby is another shot multiplier. That's crazy. So if we can get all this stuff lined up, we should do crazy damage. I don't want the HP. It's just less chance of us getting... Okay, so we're not going to get any more angel deals. Um, and I don't want the HP, because there's less chance of us being able to get into Horde Babylon. We're finally getting the decent damage here with... Uh, Wow. Yeah, if we shoot that prism, it's really nice. Um, we're finally doing some decent damage here. Let's see that trap room. Can we do anything with it? We can use a bomb to get one of these chests. Hopefully it has more bombs. We did have another bomb. And a key. So we can finish these up. That was terrible. Anyway. Moving on. We're going to go down to depths 2. We got one more opportunity to shop on this run. Um, hopefully there's one here. I'm really tired of there not being shops. It's kind of kind of frustrating. But we've done greed and super greed. Um, I can't remember if another one can spawn or not. Hopefully not. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love shooting through. Oh, it's such a cool item. I like it a lot. It's, uh, I noticed that uh, we didn't get a. It doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem to always work. We did not get a um, horseman on the, as a boss on the last floor, which means we didn't get a better a uh, another ball of bandage. Oh well. It, it doesn't seem to be a hundred percent chance. I've noticed through a bunch of runs because I. I've had this a lot. Book of Revelations is one of the uh, first items in the game, I believe. Um. So I've used it quite a few times. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it always spawns the horseman. I'm not 100% sure it wasn't a bug when it first came out. Um, and they just kind of kept it as an item feature. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Alright, come on. Line up. We did it. Um, one item that actually might be really good with... Um, with the prism is duct tape. It will stick all of these items in one space. We just can't get up. We're going to blow you both up. Screw both of you. And leave, come back in, take some money, 
get our better devil deal chance and leave. Really wish we could get a uh, a blood bank. That that would be really great. If we had a blood bank, we could get down to Horror Babylon. We could get some more money, which counts for double. So it'd be awesome. But no, that can't happen. Don't want to use our last key to get a card. I don't think it's a very smart play. I don't think there's a ton that a regular tarot card can offer us anyway. Oh, got suckered into it. That's all right. We got lots of health. I'm not worried about it. Just have to get through. Oh, I really shouldn't have gotten hit twice though. That's bad. Another another pretty fly. A ton of those. And so we got just about every pill. It's just steps two. So we want to finish exploring the floor before we do this. We got, like, every pill. It's just none, uh, none of them are particularly good this run, unfortunately. None of them screwed us over too bad. We got a speed downgrade, but we got plenty of speed where that's not a terrible... That's not fucking us. I mean, we still got 1.4 speed. We can easily beat the run with that. The cap's too, so we're almost halfway there. Just run into that guy. Why not? Let's go in their shop. Hopefully there's a key. There is not a key. There is a way to re-roll stuff, though. Blow this guy up. I think he gives us... Yeah, I have a better chance. Um, I don't really want sharp plug. Sharp plug, we can damage ourselves to charge our space bar item. That's not very good with um, something that heals that just gives us help. We're going to go ahead and pop two of diamonds. We're going to start playing this and try and get force out some better gear. We will definitely take potato peeler. That's going to give us a ball of bandage every time we use it. Um, we're going to buy this key. We're going to re-roll some more. We'll pick up the treasure map. It just reveals the map. It doesn't tell you what anything is, but it just reveals that, you know, where everything, like the floor itself. We definitely don't want placebo. We don't care about HP. Um, that last key should be the only one we really need. You know what? Let's do boss rush. That gave us access to boss rush. That's that's cool. Uh, and then we got the portal thing. That's, that's not great. Um, I mean, I guess I'll take the key and we'll move on. Our bad trip pill. We found our secret room and super secret room in the same same room. That's cool. Puberty pill. We don't want to take more of those because we'll get out of Horror Babylon, which we finally got into after being out of it the whole run. This is going to do wonders for our HP. This is going to be a pheromones pill. Don't really care too much, but that's okay. And we'll move on. Well, I mean, we've made some pretty good use out of our money there. It wasn't as, uh, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad by any means. Pretty, pretty good stuff. What's in our boss trap room? Regular chest. I don't, I don't care at this point. Um, we will take leprosy. You're tearing me apart. So when we get hit, an orbital will form around us that'll uh, last for a certain amount of hits or until it deals a certain amount of damage. And uh, that orbital will... Oh yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. So that's trying to say more, but there's not more to say. We'll trade two keys for all these bombs. That's fine at this point. Um, bombs are more likely to be helpful to us at this point than um, keys. We got the balls of... Uh, we got a level 2 meatball and a ball. We can't go into our devil deal because if we do, we're going to miss out on boss rush. And I want to do boss rush. We got bursting sack and scatter bombs. I don't really care about scatter bombs. We're going to take bursting sack. It's going to cause some spiders to spawn for us. What's, uh, there's Pin. Let's be careful of him. When we go through our, uh, it's going to be a little harder in here. But when we do go through our prism, we're doing good damage. It seems like that's, I think that's how we've gotten two of our boss rushes already, is using, uh, Mama Mega, which I'm really glad that item's here. It's a good way to get into boss rush when you normally wouldn't be able to. I think it's the only way to get into boss rush when you don't make the time. Happy to see it. Because I'm not a super fast player in the first place, so it uh, feels good to go ahead and get it out of the way. Now, 
to be careful here. Whenever we, we definitely want to use our prism shots whenever we can line them up. Yeah, our damage still isn't amazing by any means. We're at uh, 8.19. It's good. It's good damage, and we have seven tiers, which is a good rate of fire as well. And we got some ancillary forms of damage that are really nice as well. Um, we got our Harlequin baby. We got our Mysterious baby to shoot through. We got our Prism to shoot through. Um, all these things make the run a little better than the stats would uh, would suggest. Um, but none of it's amazing, I would say. I do enjoy a lot of these items, but uh, hopefully we can get something here that's a little nicer. I gotta say, neither one of those items were particularly amazing either, as far as boss rush goes. If I didn't have to do it eventually on this character anyway, then I probably wouldn't have done it for those items. Neither one was really all that great. We also could have looked for a teleport card on the floor um, and used that to not even fight Boss Rush, just to pick the item up and leave. But uh, we need to do it at some point on Eve, or on Eden. No, Eve, I had it right the first time. And she's one of the slower characters to play just because if you can't stay in Horror Babylon, then uh, she's got really bad damage. But, uh... Yeah, so if we can go ahead and knock it out, that'll be great. And we're doing pretty well in this run. Like, we're not going to lose in Boss Rush at the very least. And it's not going to put us in a place that we feel unsafe um, for the rest of the run. But it will take a while. Um, that's fine, though. The thing we got to do once... And from then on, we only we'll only do it when it's either really easy for us, or when um, we can teleport out. So we don't have to worry about it. Where is he? Where are he is? These uh, enemies that fly off the screen are super annoying in Boss Rush. It can be hard to keep track of where they are. fine. We got we got the HP to make it work. We can take one full heart of damage every three waves, essentially, without losing any HP. So I'm not too concerned yet. We would like flight would be a nice thing. More damage, of course, would be great as always. Got all these useless pills just lying around here. Be great if like there was a tears up. Health up wouldn't be too great. But tears up would be awesome. Um, I guess there's not a ton that would help us in this run anyway, from a pill standpoint. That's fine. We'll churn through here. This is definitely not a speedy run. We're at 40 minutes going through boss rush. Um, we got a lot of floors left to go, but uh, it is getting better. Shoot through a prism. Yeah. If we get the duct tape to uh, make the prism kind of stay still where it is, I feel like that would be really good actually. Yeah, we do a lot of damage when we're shooting through it. We just have to shoot through it. It's probably worth it always trying to reposition to uh, get that damage, especially in this room that's so big where repositioning's not a huge issue. Right now it's just finding the damn enemy. That's the problem. There he is. He's gone. through here. Not too bad. I'm going to use the book whenever we get hit, whenever we're, you know, we're not at full HP. We will make it through here. Come on, come on. This is a 
rather long boss rush. Gotta use mascara, that means that means we beat boss rush. Yep. Got continuum shots, which is interesting. They travel through one side of the world. So they come back on the other side. Not uh, interesting, not great. We're gonna ignore these pills because we know there's not anything particularly useful here. Um, and we'll move on. Oh, I didn't even see the devil door was still open. I could have gotten another deal. Who knows what it could have been. It could have been run changing. Oh well. That's fine. That continuum means shots are going to go everywhere. Um, that should be interesting at least. I guess it also means we could fire off the side of the map. And if we are... Uh, if our prism is facing that way and get a lot of shots out of it. I wonder if that might be a good strategy for us. We're going to hope for like Tammy's... Oh god damn it. Continuum fucks me there. We're going to hope for like Tammy's head or something. We didn't get it. Take pinky eye, get some poison shots sometimes. I think it's going to be very useful, but it's probably going to be more useful than extended stat effect time. This is what our last item was giving us. Yeah, see all the free orbitals we got from, um... Leprosy? Yeah, leprosy. We're doing it. Uh, and done. Great. Let's move on. We can't see our HP, but that's okay. I know, I think it's at full right now. If not, we're like one or two down. I'm not concerned. We'll get it back faster than we'll lose it, I think. Come on. Come on. We got a little army of orbitals following us now. Pretty big fan of that. And we'll pop this book whenever it's up, just in case. We will take advantage of our curse room, because we have... Lots of HP to our advantage, and it could be good stuff. I don't want to play him, though. I wish I could. I really do. But, uh, I... That's the one where we lose the run, is we make a stupid decision like playing him down to we have no HP, and then taking, like, one or two stupid hits. And plus, I don't know exactly how much HP we've got, so I don't want to risk it. We don't want to take puberty. What's this going to be? Guppy's head's great. Love that. Um, I think I might actually... I don't know what I want to roll. Let's do Guppy's head for a while and see how we feel about it. I think I'm going to stick with that. We got to more or less full HP. Oh, but... And I don't think at this point we can actually get a max level ball or, you know, ball of bandage or cube of meat. Because, uh... We've only got... The only possible fight we would have left is in this floor. So we'd only be able to get to level 3 instead of level 4. So I don't think it's really worth it. Oh well, we're gonna move on here. Got another pretty fly pill. I don't even know why I came in here. Um, you know what though? Got the left hand to appear by beating him. We will take that left hand trinket. It should make all chests red chests. And we might be able to force a guppy transformation out of this. Which would be stellar. Wasn't there a chest somewhere else? Yeah, up in that two room. We can go back and check. I mean, we got the time. It's not like we're getting a whole lot of benefit out of time at the moment. So we might as well. Just a spirit heart, which we could use. We want Guppy for certain. Um, yeah, we're going to move on here, go to our boss fight. We don't really have an interest in exploring every single room on this floor. We do kind of have to worry about HP now, because we no longer have our generating HP. But the extra damage, I think, is better. Amnesia is not the pill we want. Let's see... We'll spawn a little mini fly army in this room at least. We'll take two of hearts. We're not going to use it ever probably. But I'd rather have it than an amnesia pill. Wish we could have found the donation machine. That would have been nice. That way we could donate some of this money we got lying around. And we're moving on. We'll fight death here. This will be our third ball of bandage, I think. Ow. 
or cube of meat, excuse me. So you can see he's running around now, he's a real boy. Till the end. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get a fourth one. So we're going to stick with this. Okay, so it's going to give us a spirit heart. Whatever. Fine, fine. Uh, let's blow you up and hope that we get a key or two out of you. Great. We'll move on here. Um, I will go up just to see if there's a special anything up there. Got some troll bombs. Not really great. It's a boss trap room. We'll go in there and see what it is. One red chest. I'll try it. Ended up being a Krampus fight. Fine. Hopefully it's a um, lump of coal. It is. That should actually synergize really well with Continuum. Because um, the further they travel, the more damage your shots do. And if they travel the entire way around the map, that's that's a long way. So they should be doing good, good chunk extra damage. Should be a real time saver if I can get through here. I can't though. I didn't think so. Secret rooms actually rarely border four walls. Seems like their specialty is three. We'll keep using our uh, guppy's head. A little damage increase. We're moving on. Yeah, I, I like Eve, and we finally did get her to pop. Um, a little weirdness in the run, but it's not nothing too crazy. Wow, with this room layout, I could have sworn that this would have been a secret room, but I guess... Well, I didn't check this one, did I? Let's check it. It is. Um, I mean, let's do it. So missing no completely rerolled our run, and it will reroll our run for every floor after this. There's only one floor after this, but, uh, yeah. So we have, let's see, 13 tiers, so it's slower tiers. But they do 20 damage, which is pretty great. Um, instead of taking damage, let's just blow our way in there. Um, what else have we got? Can't get curses. Um, we got goat heads, so we're going to get a devil deal. We already know what it is, though. It's not going to be much help for us. Well, this is different, for sure. It's not a bad run, though. You always have the chance of getting a bad one. So missing no instantly re-rolls your run into something different. Um, and it will re-roll your run on every floor as well, automatically. So once we go to the cathedral here, after we beat it lives, um, we're going to have another, another new run. I think we have uh, Polyphemus, not Polyphemus, but um, Poptosis as well. Our shots, our tiers seem to be getting much smaller as they travel distance. Uh, it's a proptosis thing. We're not doing amazing damage here, but uh, it's not bad. And the sensor is slowing on the shot, so it's making dodging quite a bit easier. Yeah, we know it's not a fast it lives fight if it's able to spawn a boss. That's okay. Got through without too many problems. on. Right, we already knew what that was. Um, we're gonna go fight Isaac, so we're gonna go up to the cathedral. Kinda gotta remind myself sometimes. So our new run here is 17 damage, 18 tiers. Yeah, so we shoot pretty slowly. We also have, um, oh, what's that item called? It's the glowing blue crown. If you haven't taken damage on a room yet, you get vastly, you get like double damage. Um, wow, what did all that damage? That's cool. We're doing a lot of damage from something. We got little delirium, so that's kind of spawning uh, new enemies for us. Yeah, with these randomized runs, kind of don't know what's happening a lot of time. Got another devil deal. Not, not a very good one. It should be the bookworm transformation though, so that's nice. It'll cause us to sometimes shoot double shots, which is handy, for certain. We... Oh, we have Holy Mantle. 
we uh, got hit, but we didn't take damage, so we can get hit once per room. It's actually really great with the, uh, I think it's the Crown of Destiny, I think the item is. So we're happy to have that. We definitely still want to rock red chest, because we, we could still get guppy. Oh, we got Sacred Heart. Okay. That's part of the reason we're doing so much damage. Yeah, we got, it's actually like a super angel deal run. We got the Spear of Destiny that comes from angel rooms. We got the, uh... Seraphim, which comes from Angel Rooms. The Guardian Angel comes from Angel Rooms. The Crown of Eternity, Destiny, whatever it is, that comes from Angel Rooms. Sacred Heart's only in Angel Rooms. Uh, I think the Glyph of Balance, I think that's what that is. That only comes from Angel Rooms, I'm pretty sure. Um, Holy Mantle, also, I think, only comes from the Angel Rooms. Um, I know the Rosary, which I see there, comes from Angel Rooms. It's not only there, but that's one of the places it spawns. I think that's also true for the Halo. It's a super angel room run we ended up with. Um, that's neat. Let's get in here, see what it is. Forget me now, so we could do this floor again. Um, I can't see a real reason to do that. So there's five pip dice rooms. You can redo, redo the floor. Um, normally I like doing those because it means more items. But there's no items to be had on the cathedral, so I don't see much of a reason to do it and we could get a new run out of it see what it is but then it could be terrible and we could lose because of that decision i wouldn't want to do that all right we can't see the entire map anymore so we probably should actually find real dead ends got back to our devil deal again let's go in here it's not going to cost us anything because we got holy mantle More spirit hearts that we're probably never going to need. That's fine. This is a... We've had two really good runs back-to-back -back on um, our missing no, which is lucky. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes you get some real garbage runs. Ooh, let's do it. Dead cat. Should give us guppy? No? Are we an item, sh we an item short? We don't already have guppy, do we? I guess we're still an item sort. The only, one we, the only item we got was um, Guppy's head. So, between, so we need one more Guppy item, which we're unlikely to get. No. All right. Fine. Let's uh, let's go fight some Isaac. It shouldn't be too bad of a fight. We definitely want to try and keep avoid getting hit for as long as possible, just to keep our. Uh, wow. Well, okay, it's over. I was about to say to keep uh, keep our Crown of Destiny damage, but it won't matter. We've seen this before. Unlocked Eve's bird foot. It's appeared in the basement. Super special rocks have appeared in the basement. All right, great. Thank you for watching. That was a fun one. Uh, got an item I'd never seen before, which rarely happens. I've never obtained before. I guess I've seen it in the patch notes, but um, so that was really great. If you would, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing some more Isaac runs here uh, for the streamers. But thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon.